guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 1 of Wandering Witch. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. V A sounds familiar. She kind of sounds like um, what is her name? Pana something. I how the dad just in the background eating cake. <laughs> Like, I'm here just to eat cake. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Be the best damn witch you can, child. Well, of course. Elena. Thank you, because I'm thinking it was Alina or so. <laughs> Pumpkin. Hmm. I love her aesthetic. It's just so nice and playful. Close the door on her. What the hell? What is with these women closing the door on her? Oh, and they all jealous. That's <laughs> uh, some, mm, some mean bitches. Oh, hey, puppy. Jealous bitches. Mm -mm, don't be like that. You'll be able to become one. I'm guessing the star is the stardust, which she has to be that girl who's also um, she was in one of the posters, and it could be her. Nope, not who I saw in the poster. That's someone completely different. Just give her a try. <laughs> uh, 
I'm guessing because, yes, since you are the youngest, news comes out everywhere about you. Hence why all the witches was fucking too. No, I think she's going to take you in. See? Yes, you! And of course, she's not mad that you're the youngest witch. I mean, come on now. I hate to say it. She kind of like, you know who? The, you know the lady who wrote the damn Harry Potter book. But we ain't going to talk about her. She has potential, though, and she's adorable. In the morning? Yeah. I just can't believe she lives out here all alone in the forest by her girl. Mm -mm, couldn't be me. I mean, her house is nice. Uh. Maybe because as of right now, friend sensei doesn't think you're ready. So, Alina, give us some time. You can even tell in her voice. She feels like everything that she's currently doing is, you know, for shit. It looks so nasty. Okay, same. I don't like them either. <laughs> I mean, but mushrooms don't really have taste, so. <laughs> I just think the fact that they're too squishy, especially when you cook them. Maybe because you're not ready yet. Don't be so forceful with her. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, okay. A month, I mean, yeah, I would have been asking too. <laughs> Then what's the point, though? I think it is. I got you. Take your time off. Alright, you 
I'm going to go like, no, no, no. She really wants you to do it. So yeah, don't hold back. Kick her butt. <laughs> I will tell you this, I am kind of glad that, you know, she, even though, yes, yeah, she is, like, one of the smartest, brightest witches of her age, she's not OP, because that's what I was kind of thinking going into this show, that this girl was going to be, like, the most OP witch. <laughs> but still, I like it. Mm-hmm. Can we say A for effort? I mean, she she's trying and she's holding her own. No, she's just trying to hurt you really bad. I still have a lot of learning to do. And it's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. Oh, honey. You did your best. Babe. Fun if you don't hug her. I like butterflies. <laughs> what do you do? No, just give her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Just give Ellen a hug, please. There we go. Thank you. No, don't let go. She's just trying to comfort you. No, she wasn't bullying you.
No, she is actually comforting you, hun. Excuse me? What the? so that she can find a different career path? Of course. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it would be better if you go to school. You can still get training from her, but I'll say you, you go to school. Make friends. Just weeds. Do you know how much I could sell for that on Animal Crossing? There you go, place back. But wait, though. Don't you kiss the... No, I think her name's just gonna be Wandering Witch, wouldn't it be? I mean, cause yeah, that's the name of the show. <laughs> Fun.
the way it looks. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm. Uh, uh. I mean, were you destined to me, Elena? I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, don't cry, honey. You'll see her again. <laughs> of course, just like that, it just disappeared. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. She'll be fine. To right. A third line. Oh my god, don't cry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know, like, wait until Elena gets married. You are gonna be such a sad dad. Oh my god. Oh. No, it's perfect. Book. Oh, my diary. Oh, my God, Dad. <laughs> I think it shouldn't be 18 now. Yeah, it's good as hell. It's good. I like it. I, I mean, I had no problems with it. First episode was just, mwah, like, adorable. She's so cute. And the determination that she has is sweet. She kind of reminds me also of Akko from Little Witch Academia, of course. Um, Not only am I getting the feels of Little Witch Academia, there was another show that dealt with a witch, and I think it came out, like, 2016 as when I started doing anime reactions. I never finished it um, because I was too busy watching other animes and reacting to the point where I did not have the time to finish watching the show on my own and I really would like to finish it. It was called Flying Witch and it was about a witch who lived in a town or I think she moved into a town with a family for I think like a year or so and she had like different adventures. I think I watched like three to five episodes of the show, but that show was really good. Um I hope that she gets to see her sensei again. It seems like it maybe, but we're now going to see why she gets the name Wandering Witch, because of course that is the name of the title of the show anyway. But I, I like I figured 
the girl who was also in, I don't think she's in the poster that I used for my thumbnail, but there's one poster I think that came out maybe about two, three, three to five weeks ago that featured, um, Elena and someone else. And I thought she was going to be featured in this first episode, but I do love the fact that it was immediately into her getting trained by her sensei for a year and then eventually her finally going out on her own for her to have her own experience because yes she doesn't have the best experience even going from a 14 year old to an 18 year old so we're going to see her experience the world writing stuff in her diary so that eventually when this show does come to the end of its conclusion by i think 12 to 13 episodes that is when you know she'll come home She'll sit down with her parents. Her dad is going to cry so freaking much. And she's going to reminisce about all the friends and people that she's met from episode two to the end of the series. But I, I liked it. It was really good. She's sweet. She's adorable. I, I love her. I mean, she might have to be like, mmm. She might have to be best girl for me because as someone who loves anything witch themed, uh, and plus, it's my birthday month, even though my birthday's until the 18th. I just love the fact that it's something that goes into it as October Halloween as witch in and stuff. And I kind of wish there were more, a little bit more animes that were going into witch this year because your girl just likes witches so freaking much. But it was sweet and it was adorable. And honestly, I can't wait to see what else is in store for her, who she might meet and stuff. Um, like I said, I feel like I know her VA, but at the same time, I don't because, like, halfway, I think maybe we were, like, five, three, no, five to maybe ten to maybe, like, thirteen minutes. I was like, I don't think that's Kana. I think that's somebody else. So, I mean, whoever she is, her voice is sweet. I like it, you know? Yeah, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of Wandering Witch. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye, guys.